guys, Hillary here from Old World Home. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my spring capsule wardrobe. Capsule dressing is something that I have really just fallen in love with pretty much since becoming a mom. Just wanting the ease of picking out my daily outfit and just being prepared for anything that may come my way each and every day really spurred me on to just desire a simpler, wardrobe. I pretty much am wearing just my favorite things that I feel most comfortable in all day long every day. There's no, you know, dressing up or dressing down unless we're going like to the extreme, right? So if I'm doing yard work or I'm going to bed, like that's the low end of the spectrum. Or if I'm going to a fancy event, then I have one or two things I can wear for that. But pretty much everything else I do in my every day, I wear the same clothing and I don't I get overwhelmed when I have to get dressed. I've just completely eliminated that element of stress out of my day, out of my brain. I don't worry about what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, and I feel like I'm always put together. I always am ready if I stumble upon somebody that I haven't seen in a long time, or our day quickly changes and we need to go run somewhere that I wasn't expecting. I'm just, I don't feel frantic like, oh no, now I need to get dressed. I don't have that feeling, and it's a nice, um, way to keep my stress level down with something so simple and something that we all have to do every day is get dressed. So let me go ahead and show you my capsule. I have about 24 items. Um, I don't really follow any certain like framework for capsule dressing. Um, I know my friend Jennifer does the 10 item wardrobe and some other people have adapted that as well. Some people do like project 333 and they have about 33 items for each of the three um, you know, chunks of the year. I just kind of have a simplified collection. I don't stress about the number of items that I have. I just want items that I really truly love, that I want to wear, that I'm excited to wear, and and that's it. I don't want tons of extra things that are like just in case, or maybe if this kind of event comes along, I don't have a ton of that stuff. Everything I have, I pretty much wear from a day-to-day -day basis. So let me go ahead and take you in and show you what I have. So in my spring capsule this year, I have five dresses. I absolutely love wearing dresses in the spring and summer because it's one thing to put on. All of my dresses this year are nursing friendly, which was very important for me, and they all just make me feel comfortable and cool and relaxed and still pulled together. I have about three pairs of pants. I have one pair of jeans, one pair of black pants that are kind of tapered to the ankle, and I have one pair of the jogging style pants. I bought these two years ago, so they are starting to fade, and I'm not 100% sold on keeping them in my capsule, so I'm kind of just using this time right now as a trial period to see if I really wanna keep them around. Because our spring can really run the gamut of temperatures, we can have very, very cool days, either in the morning or in the evening, um, or just all day long. And then we can also have very warm days. So I do have four long sleeve tops and also one sweater. And then I have four long sleeve button downs. I absolutely love wearing button downs. Again, it's just that it makes you seem more pulled together than you really are, even though it took just as little effort to put on a button down as it does to put on a t-shirt, but it just makes you feel more put together, and I really love that. And then I have four short sleeve tops. I have a couple striped options, and then this black one that I love and I have worn for a few years now. I love the flutter sleeves and the neck detail, and these are all just really simple, easy to wear items. And then I do have four tank tops that I will include in this capsule, and these will be used for, again, when the temperature swings from a cool day to all of a sudden we have a 75 degree day out of nowhere. Either I will be wearing a dress on a day like that, or I will wear a tank top with some pants and then maybe a cardigan so I can take off the cardigan if it's too hot or we're driving the car and it's hot, um, but it's not quite hot enough that I would want to wear a dress or shorts. And as far as shoes, I have two pairs of ballet flats. One is sort of a cognac color from Sam Edelman. I love these flats. They're called the Felicia. They're super comfortable. I love them. And then I have a leopard print that I actually found at the Goodwill. They are from Banana Republic. 
Also a staple for me, I love a good leopard print shoe. It just, just sort of elevates the simplest of outfits. And then I have a pair of Sperry's, which I invested in last summer because I wanted something, again, for if it was a cooler day, maybe it's a rainy day. I just needed something that was a little nicer than just wearing a sneaker, which I don't typically wear. I really love the Sperry's. They're such a classic item. And like I mentioned, I do have a couple other maybe specialty um, dresses that I would call them. Things I would maybe wear on a date night out or for Easter or something like that, but they're not in my daily rotation, so I don't include them in my capsule number. Not that it really matters. Really what I want is everything to have breathing room in my closet that it's not so full that I can't see what I have or I have a closet full of items and I feel like I have nothing to wear. I don't want that to happen. So I just feel like as long as my closet is you know, nicely laid out and things aren't crammed together, there's breathing room between the pieces, that's really my goal. And then I just have a few items that I do fold and keep in the top drawer of our dresser. My husband has the rest of the drawers, um, but I do keep a few things folded and in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my capsule for the spring. I may do an updated video in the summer, but essentially all it would be is adding in some shorts and pretty much eliminating all of the um, you know, longer sleeve tops and I pretty much only wear dresses in the summer. So that is my wardrobe for this spring 2019. Let me know in the comments. Do you do any kind of capsule dressing or the 10 item wardrobe or anything like that? Or are you in the opposite? You feel like you have a closet full and nothing to wear? Definitely give this a try. If you have never simplified your wardrobe, just go in and pull out all your favorite things, lay them out, and just wear those for a given amount of time and see how that feels. Because once you realize that you're wearing, what do they say, 20% of your closet 80% of the time, you'll probably have an easier time just letting the items go that you're really not wearing and that you don't love. Uh, I hope that's helpful to you guys. I love you all. If you are new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe. I am doing VEDA this month, so I'm doing a video every day in the month of April, and I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Bye.